This video gives you a comprehensive tour around our platform. We'll walk through the different areas within our app and dive into some of our key features. When you first log into GoDataFeed, you'll land here on the dashboard screen. The Getting Started card here will guide you through your first steps, beginning with connecting your primary source. Click here to select your shopping cart platform or catalog file and follow the steps to import your products. The resources card here on the left contains several links to product resources. For the purpose of this video, we'll hop into our test account now, which has already been set up. Once your store is all set up, the dashboard will look like this. The first card welcomes you back and gives you a few bullet points outlining the status of key areas of your store. And the store card houses the high-level stats of your imported catalog, your fees, and if you have order sync connected, your orders. Moving along the top navigation bar, next we'll review the Import tab. After you've connected your primary source, the Import tab is where you will go to review and download your product data. On the catalog page, you can preview or search any product. You can click into any SKU here to open the product card to view all data for an individual SKU or use the dropdown to view either available data or unavailable data. To download your entire product catalog, which you'll need to reference to build your feeds, you click the download button in the left side dialog box. Reviewing your downloaded import file is important. It shows you the full detail of the product data as we are receiving it from your primary source. The import file is what our team will review when performing a feed setup for you or when troubleshooting any issue in your store. The top row of your downloaded import file contains the source fields of data we are receiving from your primary source. So you see here in my import file, I have source fields like SKU, name, description, price, and more. These are the fields you will map into feed templates. Next, we'll review some import settings you may need to adjust in your store. First, let's review allotment. Allotment is the maximum number of SKUs set to import into your store. If you add more SKUs to your catalog, you'll visit this page to increase your allotment to bring them into our system and submit them in your feeds. Next is the import schedule. Once you connect your primary source, Go Data Feed will automatically import your product data at least once daily. Here you will see the time and days of the week the import takes place. You can adjust your import schedule as needed. You can also trigger a manual import within Go Data Feed at any time. For example, if your scheduled import time has already completed, but you add new products or update pricing in your primary source later in the day, you can click the import button here so our system can fetch that new information and send it to your feeds in their next submission. If you would like to bring in supplemental product data that does not exist in your primary source, but you would like to use in your feeds, for example, optimized titles or descriptions, you will import merge files here. The final important section of the import tab is email alerts. In the recipients box, enter in the email address of the person you would like to receive email alerts for any of the occurrences listed under the events section here. A very important email event to toggle on in your account is the second one, import fails. For any reason, if our system does not receive your daily import from your primary source, you'll receive an automated email telling you how to reach out to our support team so they can take a look and help you get your import back on track. Now we'll get into the Feeds tab. This is where you will add and manage your feeds. Click the Feeds button and you'll land on the Feeds Overview page. As you can see here in our test store, we already have feeds added so they are displayed here on the main card and you can see their compilation, pull and submission status. To add a feed to your store, you'll simply click Add Feed here in the menu card. Click Channel Templates to search from over 200 channels and select which one you would like to add to your account. You can also create custom feed templates if you don't see the channel you are looking for. Feel free to reach out to our support team or search our help center for guidance on custom feeds. The first PPC feed setup is free for any new account. So if you're looking to get started with a PPC feed, meaning pay-per-click channels like Google Shopping, Microsoft Advertising, Facebook, or Pinterest, you can submit a request to our team for a complimentary setup. 
Once you have connected your primary source, all you need to do is click the Request Setup button here to complete the form and submit it to our team. Finally, you'll see our Help Center card pinned here with quick access links. Our all-in-one feed setup overview guide walks you through a feed setup from start to finish, so it's highly recommended you use it when setting up your first feed in our platform. Now, we'll take a quick look into the Google Shopping feed to go over a few key features of our channel feed templates. To go into a feed, you simply click on the feed name to open the template. First, we'll walk through the validation summary. When you compile your feed, which happens when you first add a feed, and which you do when setting up the feed to save your changes, our data validation engine runs pre-submission checks on your data to make sure your data is compliant with the channel specifications and best practices, and produces the validation summary. In the validation summary card, you'll see the number of products included in the feed, as well as the errors, warnings, and optimizations our validation engine is returning. To view any messages, simply click into the category card to expand. You can click into any message to view additional details and recommendations, as well as the full list of SKUs affected by this message. Next, we'll briefly review the key pages in a feed template. The first required part of setting up your feed is mapping. The mapping page is where you'll map your data points, meaning you'll draw the line between the channel's feed fields here on the left side of the page to your source fields here on the right. Our system auto maps common fields for you based on your imported data, so some fields are already mapped, but you can always adjust these if needed. To add a mapping, place your cursor into a field to select from a list of your pre-populated source fields, or start typing to pull up the value you are looking for. All of your source fields are prepended by a p-value, indicating this value is coming from your imported product data. You can also enter static text into any field to apply the value to all products in the feed. If you are unsure of what a feed field in any feed template means, you can click on it to expand a details dialog box that provides a description of what the channel is expecting here and some example values. When you begin mapping any feed, we recommend using the dropdown at the top of the page to select required fields and mapping these first, as you won't be able to successfully submit the feed without these mappings completed. Then you can go through additional mappings. When you complete your mappings or make changes, make sure to click the blue Save button in the top right corner. Below mapping, you will find filters. Remember that filters are a way to exclude products from feeds. Next is the Categories page where you can assign more granular categories by browsing the channel's product taxonomy and selecting the category that applies best. You can also create category rules to group your products into categories. Keep in mind channels like Google assign categories automatically so adjusting categories isn't necessary within every feed template, but it is a mechanism for additional product listing optimization. The final page to review is the Rules page. Rules allow you to apply conditional logic, inject keywords, enhance your product attributes with additional fields or values, and further optimize your data before submitting it to the channel. To add a rule, you will click the blue plus button within the list card here, and the rules editor will open in the card on the right. Our Help Center has articles about creating rule logic for different optimizations for you to reference. The next feature to highlight in our feed templates is the preview feature. The preview button is located here. The preview tool allows you to review your feed data and ensure all of the mappings and additional logic you have set up is accurate and ready to be submitted. To access the feed preview, simply toggle it on. A preview table will open at the top of the page. You can also search for any SKU in the feed here in the search bar. In full screen mode, you can click into any SKU to run an audit that outlines each data transformation step that is being performed on this SKU. When you have completed your feed setup and used the preview feature for an initial data review, click the Compile button. Remember, compiling applies all of the feed mappings, filters, categories, and rules, and runs your feed data through our validation engine to generate the validation summary we reviewed earlier. Then once you have reviewed any validation errors or warnings, it's time to submit your feed. Super important to note that our Help Center has step-by-step -step articles for every channel that walk you through how to submit feeds to them properly. 
You can navigate to the Feeds section to find the article for submitting feeds to a specific channel, or you can search the channel name. Once you have the article for the channel you are submitting to, you will navigate to the Settings page in your feed to configure the submission following the steps in the Help article. You can always reach out to our support team with questions. Now that you've built and submitted your feed to the channel, let's talk about ongoing optimization and analysis of data validation and channel feedback. Within each feed template is this page titled Analysis Report. Clicking on it will generate an on-demand report with the latest feedback. While the exact contents of the analysis report are specific to the type of feed and the channel the report is generated for, at minimum, all analysis reports include a historical summary table of compilation and submission metrics, providing valuable insights into your feed's data health over the last 30 days, unique feed compilation and submission feedback from our proprietary data validation engine, and recommendations for optimizing feed data and resolving warnings and error messages. Another awesome feature within the analysis report is the ability to analyze any SKU using our AI integration to generate smart titles, keywords, descriptions, ad copy, and SEO review and validation analysis. Simply click on a SKU included in your analysis report or search a SKU in this top bar here to run the analysis. Wrapping up the tour, we'll quickly walk through the account drop-down menu in the top navigation. You can select to view the activity history in detail, your store information, and manage users for this store. Subscriptions and invoices are here for your review as well. Billing settings is important to note because this is where you can update your payment method for your monthly subscription. Finally, you'll notice the help drop-down. This displays how and when you can reach our US-based support team and links to product resources. You can interact with our chat bot via the chat bubble in the bottom left corner here 24 seven for assistance. And during operating hours, you can connect with one of our specialists. And that concludes our platform tour. Please remember our help center contains articles on every shopping cart platform integration and channels, as well as in-depth feature guides and videos to provide you all of the information and resources to set your feeds up for success. Thank you for watching. We're excited for you to get started.